Renault Clio 2009, yeah? Uh, to do service on it, you've got air filter here. You've got these two slides, one here, one here. You push them and you get this cover out and you'll see the, the air filter. You just drag it out. You've got oil filter. You can't see it, it's right, right in there. You get this thing out from here as well. It'll go easy. And that's your oil filter there. You just release that by hand. And then you go underneath and take the sump plug off. And then you've got fuel filter, which we have it here. Passed by my dear friend here which is the owner of the car and you've got the fuel filter which looks like this to do the fuel filter you need to take the wheel off the wheel arch cover which is here it's only being held in place by this plastic thing and then you've got it here and you've got two bolts here, two nuts, 13 mil, 10 mil, two nuts. And you take this metal plate thing off like this, and you've got it there. You just press it on those thing, things, release it. Careful with these plastic pipes, because they will break. You've got one here, one here, and one there. I don't know, there's a electric plug. No, there's no electric thing in it. So you just replace that. And also, when you take this thing off, you can do the belt, which you've got a 17 mil here for the tensioner to release the belt and you can put new drive belt on. That will be it. And the drive belt aircon one. Yeah, uh, make sure, yeah, good, good thing that you've told this. Uh, when you buy it, some cars, they don't have aircon, which will be a shorter drive belt and some car like this one has an air compressed thing and it should be the the longer one belt so make sure make sure to point that to the shop where you get your parts that's it okay so we'll unplug this just press it on that thing we'll press it like this and then hold it up and it should go That's it. One there. One here. I'll drip a bit, a bit, but don't worry about that. It'll stop eventually. And then you've got this white one on the back here. Which it goes like this. And done. And to remove them, I'll show you on this new one. It has this slides, you see this edges, and you just lift it, and it'll go out of from its bracket. Oh. That's it. There's your old one. I'll leave it like this, and then you've got your new one, which it comes even with color codes, so you know. You've got those pipes. It's really clever. They, they, they. So you can't go wrong. You can't. You can't. This is just uh, easy, easy, so easy fix. When you slide it, you feel it gripping. It'll be. It, it's a bit tricky. You only grip one. done it's grip and then same you just press on this tabs tabs or tags plug it until you hear a click and then go for this back one here you pull this thing out plug this thing in
click and then you'll go green one either and you click this thing in click and that's all sorted you can bleed it a bit if you are from here but it'll drip liquid it'll, it'll drip fuel out but after you've done this you need to go up here and you've got this priming thing here look you just press it on that and you prime the the thing and that will be it do it like that put the ignition on do it two or three times ignition on and off and then you can start the engine it'll be okay if you like this video make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel see ya